Hello Collective, this is Renee and welcome back. Today I have a message for the Divine Feminine. And the energy that I'm getting is your masculine that's in your energy, there's a bitterness. <laughs> and there's an angry attitude with this person. It's it's very interesting because I feel like this person, I feel like you and them may have had words. Um, I feel like there may have been an argument because it's left this masculine very uneasy. And they don't know how to take it. They don't know what's going to come of it. And they're kind of acting like they're unbothered. They're kind of like in that. I don't give a fuck mode, right? And this masculine, with this energy, this energy is all over the place. And I, I can kind of see this masculine pacing back and forth, like talking to himself and, you know, kind of yelling at himself. Um, I feel like this masculine wants to come back around, but... They want to come back around with the intentions on finishing what it is you started. Because I feel like you started the conversation that may have turned into an argument. So I feel like they feel like you got a one up over them. And now they want to come back and they want to kind of turn the tables. But I don't think it's going to go that way. I, I think that this masculine... really is in a headspace of being aware now that they messed up royally, okay? I feel like this masculine really sees the opportunity that they lost. And it's pushing this masculine to kind of think things a different way. Um, like maybe they can't go about it the same way that they usually do. And I, and I feel like this masculine may have kind of dipped into old patterns to where when they were finished with something, they could cut it loose. They could let it go and not even think about it, not even worry about it. It wasn't even a part of their mindset anymore. And they thought that with this argument that it could go ahead and end and they could treat you the same way. And no, they can't. I think this masculine is learning the hard way that you aren't one that they can forget about that you are kind of the ones to turn the tables on them. And now it's got this masculine thinking. And, you know, if you know you're masculine, your masculine is a huge overthinker, right? I feel like this masculine, like, lives in his head. He thinks very logically. He takes so long to make decisions. And he just constantly doubting himself on whether he made the right choice. So I think this masculine is really thinking about how things played out. And I think that's kind of pushing him to take accountability for what he, he has done. I think that he's reminiscing a lot. He's thinking back and whatever you said to him really put him into the headspace of, man, I made so many mistakes that, you know, it kind of pushed him to have this self-awareness, this realization that he should have made you a priority. And... I think this masculine is finally looking back saying, oh, I didn't give this a chance. I didn't do this. You know, I tried to play this the same way I always do, and now it's coming to bite me in the ass. <laughs> right? 
So I, mean, I think this masculine is taking a lot of time to contemplate. And he's trying to figure some things out. But I also feel like whatever moves that this masculine didn't make in the past, he didn't make them because of his insecurities. His insecurities stopped him from opening his heart to you in a way that would help your relationship grow. It would help it go to the next level, right? And I think that this masculine has more insecurities than you're aware of um, because you know, they come across as having it all together, you know, not having a care in the world, you know, being stable, being secure, and, you know, because this masculine gets a lot of attention. So, you know, they come across as more confident than they really are. But this masculine, he lives in his head so much, that's the reason why he totally ran away from the situation. And... He, he's having a lot of regret for that now. I feel like this masculine, this tower moment, if you will, um, caused by this argument between you two, or you just letting him know your truth. You know, uh, I, I feel like that's actually pushing this masculine into self-awareness. It's transforming him in a way that he's actually recognizing that he was happiest with you. You know, he's, he's thinking back and he's going through old memories, you know, going through uh, reminiscing and he, he finally understands that Everything that happens in the situation, actually he was at his most peaceful, you know? Um, and I, I feel like this masculine ran away from the situation because there was so much going on in his life at the moment. And he really understood what you deserved. He knew that you deserved something better. And he was willing to stand aside and let you pursue your life and let you um, go ahead and live your life. You know, he was willing to step aside because he knew you deserved so much better than him. And he was willing to give that to you which is very sweet in a way, but it also shows his insecurities because you weren't looking for something better. You were looking for him to make the effort, right? And I don't think at the moment, I don't think he totally understood that in the moment, but he knows now that it's time to make a decision, that he can't sit still and just wait for you to come back because he's unhappy. He just wants you back. He, he, now he's at the point where he knows that he don't deserve you, but he wants you, right? So he, he's gonna go ahead and make the effort and make the sacrifices because he don't wanna see you with someone new. He, that's the last thing on his mind. It kind of drives him crazy. You think that this masculine is kind of pacing back and forth now. Boy, if he's seen you with someone new, he'd be like tearing down the walls, you know, because this masculine has his, his heart set on you. And I feel like with this masculine, with you, it was love at first sight, even if he didn't show it, even if he never said it. Even if he never told you exactly how he felt at all, when he saw you, it was love at first sight. And he definitely don't want to see you with anybody else. He knows that 
in order for him to make better choices, in order for him to be exactly what you need, he has to work on becoming a better person because he needs to work on those insecurities. He needs to work on a lot of things in his life that, you know, those old patterns that he keeps playing out. And he knows those old patterns aren't making him happy anymore. So he's thinking about how he can go ahead and go through these, this transformation and make all these changes that he needs to make in the least amount of time possible. <laughs> which you and I both know is truly impossible. So I need to tell you that this masculine will be making a turnaround and it's going to be like an about face, right? Um, and when he comes back around, he's not going to be healed. Because you and I both know it takes a lot longer than what he has in order to heal from the insecurities that he has. But he's willing to leave everything behind. He's willing to risk it all. Because he misses all of your interactions, all of your playfulness. He misses that beautiful smile and the way your eyes twinkle when you look at him. He, he misses everything about you, you know, and it's really sweet. It's really sweet. And I, I think for you, Divine Feminine, there are going to be some boundaries that you have to set when it comes to this masculine when he when he does make a comeback. Because like I said, he's not coming back here. Definitely. He's not coming back healed. You're going to have to accept him right where he's at or not accept him at all. Um, but this masculine is really thinking about how he can make things right. He, he dreams about you. He thinks about you constantly. Um, he thinks about being with you. And uh, if, if this masculine is with someone else or if he's married, he dreams about being free so that he can pursue the opportunity with you. So this masculine is taking a lot of time. And I feel like right now he really feels like his life is totally turned upside down. And he, he has so much anxiety so much frustration. Like I said, the the frustration is real. He's pacing back and forth. He's, you know, at the point where it's like anger and like he's just cussing and, and carrying on. He's yelling at himself. He's just so frustrated by the situation because you have him so caught in his head. He just... I mean, you're just living there rent-free. You, you're not moving. And he's trying to understand why. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's trying to understand why he can't get past you. He can get past everybody else. He can get past anybody else. But he can't get past you. And it's like driving him crazy. What is it about her? that I can't move away from. So that's where he is, collective. So I hope this helps. And uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Um, and just know that this masculine, he's willing to leave everything behind for you. His energy is really strong right now. And he's starting to understand how to use his intuition. And he can, he can feel you. He feels the same energy you do. And 
I mean, if if you're an empath, or um, you can probably feel his energy as well. So let me know if this resonates. And until the next time, many blessings to you. Love and light.